The Ebony developers have released the most recent notes of concerns that arose in meetings with players. These concerns are, of course, a very limited list of the many concerns Ebony players have with the game right now, but they are the ones that were on the table for discussion. There were five topics regarding battlefields, one regarding bosses, one regarding civilization gear, two regarding in-game events, and 15 generalized concerns. Before we talk about the developer goals and priorities, let's talk about the highlights of this list of concerns. The battlefield issues are about making the competitions more functional. The All-Stars battlefield just does not work. Players had issues loading in and even rallying. It's unfathomable that not just a competition, but the All-Stars is completely unplayable for some players. I don't know about you, but I'd be pretty shocked if in the NBA Finals they handed the players a flat basketball, or if in the Olympics they told the swimmers to flail around in the dirt instead. The All-Stars is meant to be the peak of Evany gameplay and players can't even load into the competition? It's absolutely shameful. Players voiced other valid concerns. Wonder 3 is completely unattainable for players, even highly skilled players on a modest budget. It was requested that battlefields be increased to 25 players. I'm not particularly in favor of that one myself. I don't have enough faith in Ebony's servers to be able to field an extra 10 people in battlefields. There might just be too much strain on the server that it could implode and possibly trigger a cataclysmic chain of events that could lead to the end of all humanity, and since there's no money in ending the planet, I doubt this one will ever get any attention. Other player concerns were with the limited time slots and with the completely awful matching system. Alliances seem to meet the same alliances week after week with little to no variation. It's just not fun. My alliance has seen the same exact alliance in Constantinople every week for two months and another alliance repeatedly for Guagamela for the same amount of time. Battlefields are are basically now log in, wait two minutes to get zeroed in one hit regardless of size, and then log out. At least if there were some new alliances matched, we might be able to enjoy the game for more than two minutes a week. Before we move on to other areas, let's see what the developers had to say. For the issues with All Stars, they say, we will fix it by November. I feel like we've heard that answer before, like for the last couple of years. The concern about Wonder 3 seems a bit more promising where they state they will expand the requirements to top 200 around November as well. Now is that enough? Absolutely not. The top 200 probably all have Wonder 3 unlocked already and they know this. This changes nothing whatsoever. Here's what they should do instead, in my opinion. Change it from top 100 to top 50 that do not have it unlocked already. When awarding Wonder 3, it will look at each player ranking 1 and onward to see who has not unlocked it yet. The top 50 players without Wonder 3 unlocked will earn Wonder 3. Eventually, yes, eventually, hardworking free-to-play players at the back of the bus might actually get their Wonder 3 unlocked as well. It will take time, but there's hope with this method at least. How about the terrible matching system and time slots? No suitable program plan at the moment. Well then, moving on. People wanted better boss rewards such as runestone chess. Ebony developers say that this is under optimization and they've already been doing this. I can agree with that. It's never enough, but there has been some new item variation to boss drops, which I commented on in a recent video. Here's a huge one. People requested more ways to get civilization equipment fragments, such as through difficult bosses. We don't even have to guess the response here, but in case you're wondering, it ain't happening. People also raised the concern that gold was an issue and that Vikings were just not enough anymore, as well as that consumption rewards needed a boost. No plans to do anything with those either, according to the developers. 
Let's get into the final category that the developers list as common or general concerns. Get rid of white and green subsidies on the map. Heard that one before. Devs say under optimization and list end of September as the timeline. Hmm. It's the 1st of October right now. I'm pretty sure I still see garbage subsidies all over the map. Server merge for dead continent one and two servers. Under optimization and already online is what the devs say. Where's that cricket sound clip? Ah, there we go. Players want to be able to cancel the healing of wounded troops. Supposedly, this is being worked on for October. This should already be in the game. Imagine being in Battlefield and accidentally putting a ridiculous amount of troops to heal that you can't cancel. I wouldn't be surprised if this one actually comes through, but it will be like those genie wishes where you don't get what you actually wished for. I bet canceling wounded troops doesn't refund your resources, or it will only give you a small portion back. Here are some of the concerns developers expect to address by November. Add 100 times spins to Wheel of Fortune, a simple quality of life feature. Yes, please. Alliance rallies and rally screen jumping around making people join the wrong rallies. This issue has been ongoing for ages. I don't think they have any clue how to fix it, so November is optimistic. Automatically recommend generals based on targets when joining in monster rallies. Another quality of life feature. Cool. Save me some time looking for Baybars and Nathaniel Green. Proportional increase in Monarch experience at advanced offering. Would be nice. Monarch experience is slow. Will this happen? What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm thinking it's an empty promise. Additional March presets are expected in December, according to devs. More than likely, these additional presets will be locked behind a VIP paywall like the rest, but maybe we will get at least one more. Finally, here's the list of the common concerns that are listed as no suitable program plan at the moment, which translates to English as not even considering this right now. Easier ways to get stamina. Get Monarch experience to high level. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to mean. Either the concern is that Monarch experience growth is too slow or they, or that they just want a higher level, but it wouldn't make sense to have a cap higher than the max keep level. Increase the number of places for each range. The major concern is that with server merges, it becomes really imbalanced and that the players on newer servers tend to drop many ranks. I'm totally in favor of this. In fact, I think it would be more sensible to have a completely new system with prestige ranks, such as perhaps a weekly growth rate that depends on the age of the server. What I mean here is that every week, the amount of prestige required to be Archduke, Duke, etc., increases, but that there are no specific numbers of how many people can become each rank. In this way, it would become more about player activity and it would solve so many game issues surrounding prestige and server merges. Send more items in waybills. Quality of life, easy to implement. Too bad it's not even being considered. Wall general presets, yes please. There should be more available presets for so many different aspects of the game. Equipment setups, wall generals, PvP marches, blazons, and more. It's so obvious that, of course, it's not being considered. Increase the number of bosses and the amount of resources in that period between events. We've been asking for this for years. Don't expect much here. Lastly, players want some variety for resource gathering. Right now, there's Queen Jindiak and a few other subpar generals. There's so little variety of resource collection generals that it looks exactly the same keep by keep. I can agree with this concern, though it's not going to change much. Maybe there will be a premium resource collection general released eventually, but don't expect much for the average player. That's it for the developer notes. As usual, it's fairly underwhelming and the outlook isn't too positive for the future. The major takeaways from these notes are that essentially everything that players want is being brushed off with a small exception of a tiny expansion for players trying to get Wonder 3 and a few new items that will be appearing in bosses. Take from it what you will. 
Until next time, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.